All right, today I'll be doing a project over intramolecular forces. Uh, first off, intramolecular forces are uh, the force between two different substances. Um, and for this experiment, I'm going to be having a water, uh, a cup of water mixed with some oil, uh, adding some food coloring, and then having an Alka-Seltzer tablet to perform an experiment. So first off, I've got this cup of water right here. Right, so this water right here, it only will uh, react and mix with uh, water molecules. But if I add some oil, like right here, um, oil will only mix with oil and water will only mix with water. Therefore, we create this little boundary right here. We've got water on the bottom and oil on the top. The water on the bottom the reason it's on the bottom is because it is more dense uh, and it is polar. Um, oil up here is less dense and it is nonpolar. That is why they don't mix. Oil will only mix with oil and water will only mix with water. You can put the oil to the bottom, but eventually the oil will make its way back to the top because it is less dense and it will not mix with water. Polar and nonpolar will not mix together and they will not bind together. That is why there is a little line right here. You can see the meniscus line and little bubbles creating the barrier between water and oil. So I will add some uh, food coloring uh, at the top. Okay, so you see how it stops at the boundary between the water and the oil? Let me get a better shot for you. So it is stopped right there. You can't really see from there, but the uh, food coloring is stopped between the barrier. It cannot re react with water and create a mixture, but it is between the barrier. So it is, oh, there it goes. Now it's start to go through the barrier and it will start to dissolve with the water, creating a new mixture. But if I add an Alka-Seltzer tablet, I can get uh, the water or the water molecules and the uh, food coloring uh, molecules to rise to the top uh, and mix with the or not mix with the oil but create carbon dioxide, which will make the water um, come up to the oil, which it will never do on its own because their water is polar and oil is nonpolar and they will not mix together. But if I put an alka seltzer tablet to the bottom. You can see that it's already creating some carbon dioxide. And you can see that the mixture between the food coloring and the water is creating, um, is rising to the top and getting a mixture at the top. So as you can see, it is not just oil at the top, but it is um, the air molecules and the uh, food coloring at the top. There's still the boundary between water and oil but the Alka-Seltzer tablet is reacting with the water and the food coloring to let the food coloring and the um, air molecules rise to the top through the oil, which creates the different, um, the boundary. So as you can see, the Alka-Seltzer tablet is almost finished, um, creating the carbon dioxide, um, mixing with the, the food coloring. Um, and after it is completely finished and a little bit later, the uh, water and the food coloring uh, molecules will still sink back to the bottom and still create the barrier between the oil and the water. That is intermolecular forces um, with a very good home experiment. Um, the water mixed with the food coloring uh, mixed with the Alka-Seltzer tablet, uh, gets air molecules and the food coloring molecules to rise to the top of the boundary between the oil and the water, creating bubbles of air, carbon dioxide. And then after that is completely finished, um, the water molecules that are left over and the um, food coloring molecules that are left over will now sink back to the bottom and then create that little barrier between water and oil yet again. 
So this is intermolecular forces and I hope you enjoyed.